Good morning and happy Sabbath. Welcome to the beginner Sabbath school class this morning at Daughter of Zion Seventh-day Adventist Church. Today we have a very good story that is engaging and it also points us to Christ. And it's going to be given to us by Omega and Valor Tracy. So I'm excited for you to hear about today's story entitled, So Fresh, So Clean. Before we get started, let's pray. Please bow your heads and close your eyes and we will listen to the prayer. it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the key Amen to that prayer. And now it's time for all of us to participate by singing the good morning song. So on the count of three, let's ring it out together. One, two, three. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We say we're happy, so happy to see you today. All right, and as our custom is, let's sing it one more time. <clears throat> and I want you to sing it as loud as you can. Join with me, please, on three. One, two, three. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We say we're happy, so happy to see you today. All right, and we are happy again that you are here. So I'm going to get right into our memory verse, which is found in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 18. And you're going to hear this in the story. But it says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in his great power. Wear the full armor of God. Wear God's armor so that you can fight against the devil's evil tricks. Our fight is not against people on earth. We are fighting against the rulers and authorities and the powers of this world's darkness. We are fighting against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly world. That is why you need to go get God's full armor. Then on the day of evil, you will be able to stand strong. And when you have finished the whole fight, you will still be standing. So stand strong with the belt of truth tied about your waist and on your chest where the protection of right living and on your feet where the good news of peace to help you stand strong and also use the shield of faith. With that, you can stop all the burning arrows of the evil one. Accept God's salvation to be your helmet and take the sword of the spirit. That sword is the teaching of God. And then finally, verse 18, pray in the spirit at all times. Pray with all kinds of prayers and ask for everything you need. To do this, you must always be ready. Never give up. Always pray for all God's people. And so Omega and Valor are going to explain the full meaning of these passages in Ephesians chapter 6. Enjoy. Does it take you a long time to get dressed in the morning? Oh, you can only imagine. First, I have to make sure my whole uniform is laundered and ironed to a crisp. One time, my uncle turned the whole load of laundry pink. I can't let that happen again. Next, I have to gather all the accessories 
to my uniform. I have the badge that lets everybody know who I work for. I have the belt. It holds items I need to grab easily. The snazzy hat makes me look important. The baton protects me from stray dogs. The padded leather shoes help me to chase bad guys. I use the walkie-talkie to speak to the guys back at the station. Oh, and you can never forget, my department issued white ankle socks. I have to make sure my feet don't sweat while I'm patrolling these mean streets. Your uniform is pretty intricate. It must take you a long time to get dressed, too. No, I keep it on all the time. What? But what about your cape? You have to make sure there's no static cream. Do you need dryer sheets? Nah. No, Matt. How do you keep it from shrinking? Do you hang dry it? Surely you take your pantalones to a dry cleaner every week. No, I never have. I can't believe what you're telling me. How do you keep your uniform so fresh and so clean and clean? Have you ever read Ephesians chapter 6 and verses 10 to 17? No, but I'll read it now. Let me get my Bible. Did you learn anything? Oh, did I ever! Paul teaches us to put on the whole armor of God. It has six pieces: the helmet of salvation. It protects my mind and helps me to remember what I need to read in the Bible. The shield of faith is important because it helps me to not doubt or second guess God and always know He loves me. The belt of truth. Helps me to be honest and remember the truth about God. I put on the good news shoes so I don't go places I shouldn't. The sword of the spirit is the word of God. The chest of armor helps me to protect my heart and live right. Yep, that is the whole armor of God. And don't forget, verse 18, it says play on. I wish I knew about this before. I have to return the laundry detergent and fabric softener before the store closes. Just think of all the money I'm going to save. What? You still have to wash your clothes. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Amen. And I want to thank the Tracys for working together as a family to make sure other boys and girls all around the world could enjoy a piece of God's word together. So let us pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day. Thank you for the story. Help us to remember that as long as we put on the full armor of God, we can withstand anything. You stand and take take those darts for us. You make sure we have what we need and we are so grateful. So I hope others have been blessed as a result. Please forgive us of our sins. Help each one to be very good and be helpful with mommies and daddies. In your name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> All right. Thanks so much for tuning in, uh, beginners. I look so forward to being with you next week. Bye-bye.